In this video, I'm going to show you how to locally install Llama GPT. Llama GPT is 100% private, self-hosted, offline chat GPT-like chatbot, which is quite easy to install and use. Right now, it works with few limited numbers of Llama models, but that list is growing fairly rapidly. This project is a culmination of the work of a lot of open source developers and kudos to them for the, doing this great work. This um, product or Llama GPT is from Embril, which lets you run your own home cloud for file storage, VPN, media server, Bitcoin, and a lot of other things. Great thing is that this Llama GPT is open source. Cool. Now I'll be installing this Llama GPT on my AWS EC2 instance running Ubuntu. And let me quickly show you how that looks like. I already have installed Ubuntu on my EC2 instance and I'm using C5.4x large. Let me quickly show you the version. So cat it is dash for this. This is my Ubuntu version. Also make sure that you have Docker installed. If you don't know how to install Docker, I have another video describing that. Let's clear my screen. Now, first thing we need to do is to clone the GitHub repo from um, the GitHub for this Llama GPT. So go back to your GitHub and then from there on this repo, scroll up, click on this green button and grab this URL. Now let's go back to our Ubuntu system. There we will be Git cloning this Git clone and then just give this URL, that's done. LS, now let's go into Llama GPT directory. Just let's check what's inside. Okay, so we have Docker uh, files and we have some run files, cool. Let's clear my screen. And the next step which we need to do is to run uh, the Llama model with this command, simply dot run his it and it will not only install it, after downloading it, it will also do the Early configuration. So let's run it and it will take a bit of a time. As you can see, it is running, it is downloading all the layers and stuff. So let's wait for it to finish. As you can see, it is still running and now. It is almost at the end. Okay, now it's ready and it has started server server on this URL or IP at port 3000. We can access it through local host 3000. Let me open it in the browser. I just opened it in my browser with HTTP colon double slash localhost colon at port 3000. And as you can see, it is running. It has selected this default Llama 27B model because that is what we ran it when we ran that run.sh command. This is a system prompt and this is a temperature. The higher the value, um, the uh, output will be um, more random while lower values like 0.2 will make it more focused and deterministic. I just make it a little lower. Now let's run something. Um, what is the capital of Tonga. Tonga is a Pacific Island. Let's see if, if it is able to derive it or not. Perfect. Spot on. So you can see it is totally privately hosted. I didn't have to give it any API key. I'm not using any uh, outside stuff. This is totally uh, self-hosted, privately hosted and chat GPT like experience. Let me ask it a few more random questions. Um, Describe the like philosophy in one line. Awesome. So, and then you can also regenerate the responses. And on the left hand side, it is also saving the history, which is awesome. And then there are other settings which you can do by clicking here. And then you can simply turn it off, turn it down. And then you can also search it from here. You can click on this new prompt and there are a few other settings which you can do. And then here you can clear the conversation on the bottom left. And you can also search from here. Let's ask it some coding question. 
Python script to add to maybe generate random. Let's run it. Let's see what it does. Import random print. Yep, sounds great. Sounds cool. Formatting is a bit off, but that is fine. Nice. Um, then let's ask it uh, one last question. Which city in the world is famous for Harbor Bridge? Because that's the city I am I am in right now. Let me. Yep, that is awesome. So you can see it's very easy to install. It's as very easy to um, run locally, privately, self-hosted. So really, again, hats off to the authors. Um, let me go back to their repository to pay homage to them. So these are the guys who have done it. So uh, really, you know, um, all of them, you know. Beautiful work. Thank you very much. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I am doing. And if you have, if you want to do it in your own company or, or on, on your own data, you can do it. Um, it doesn't cost much. And as I said, I'm using that um, C5.x large, 4x large instance. You can even go with 2x large instance. The speed will be a bit lower. And if you are using larger model, let me also show you the model it supports. Let's scroll on that GitHub repo. So these are the model it is supporting at the moment. And I'm using the 7B one, this one. You can use any one of them. Like it also supports Code Llama and it also supports Code Llama 13B chat. In the next video, I will also show you how you can do the Code Llama one and the process will be similar. So this is great. Um, really love it. If you have any questions or feedback or if you are struggling to implement it, please put it in the comments and I will try to help you out. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.